Every class you take is part of a discipline. Disciplines are the subject areas that researchers and scholars study, like art, science, sociology, history, or literature. When doing research, different pieces of information are important to different disciplines. In the sciences, it is important to know how current an article is. When a researcher references another article, he needs to let his reader know the year the article was published. When writing about literature, researchers will often quote the work of literature. It is important for them to tell their reader where the original quote can be found. Because different pieces of information are important to different disciplines, researchers have developed different styles of writing. The citation style used for writing is a way of communicating with other researchers in the same discipline. When all of the researchers are communicating in the same way, it is easier for them to understand each other. When using APA style, for example, authors make reference to a researcher's last name and the year his article was published. Sometimes the author will use the researcher's name in the sentence and then put the year in parentheses. In this example, the author is referring to three separate studies all done by the same researcher in 1991. The author uses A, B, and C to distinguish the different studies. Here, the author references several different studies by different researchers to prove his point. One of the studies was conducted by five researchers, so all of their last names and the year the study was published are included in parentheses. Here is another example of a reference. These references, called in-text citations, are repeated on the author's works cited or bibliography. The in-text citations help the reader find the same article on the works cited. The works cited will have all of the information about the original study so that a reader can find the original study if he wants to read it himself. Professors can use the information on students' works cited pages to find a student's sources and verify that the student's research was done correctly. Authors using MLA style have a similar way of communicating with their reader. In this example, the author uses two quotes in the introduction. First, he quotes Gertrude Stein. Because he states who the quote is from in the sentence, he puts in parentheses the page number where he found the quote. For the second quote, the author states in his sentence that it is a quote from the novel. Again, he only includes the page number in parentheses because someone reading the article would know that Fitzgerald is the author of The Great Gatsby. If the sentence does not include the author's name, you would put the author's last name in parentheses with the page number. A reader can then look to the work cited to find all of the information about the novel and the book that Gertrude Stein quote was taken from. The most important information to this author is where he found the quotes. He uses MLA style to communicate that information to his reader. When a professor asks you to use a particular citation style in his class, he is helping you learn how researchers communicate through writing in that discipline. By citing sources, you tell your reader where he or she can go to find the same information, and you give credit to the researchers or authors whose ideas you are using.